All right, here's the new hydroponic system. Dog barking in the background. Neighbor's dog. Apparently he thinks he should be the only one using his backyard. This is the way it works. It's a Beto bucket. It has PVC drain. The cool thing about the Dutch bucket system or the Beto bucket system is it actually has these little cool <clears throat> taps that go right into the PVC pipe and then that drains back into the solution tank and I got a 54 gallon solution tank that will be a uh, mostly closed recycling system here is the drip system doing its thing um, this one is a very fast drip the first two one the first two buckets just because it's the closest to the drain and these are slower drip you can see there you go. and of course at the very end which at first was a problem because they were overflowing the slowest drip for obvious reasons so it doesn't um, overflow and I got two drips in those so there's plenty of solution inside of it what you got is you've got perlite on the very top and perlite is a substance made from volcanic um, rock that's heated up until it like becomes like popcorn and then below that you have these little balls here which are just clay balls and between the two they are able to give some um, some media so that the flowers, not the flowers, but the plants can have some uh, some rooting into the perlite and the clay, as well as it maintains some of the moisture. These are going to be where I plant my tomatoes. So I will have two, four, six buckets of tomatoes, which I'll probably plant quite a few of them in each one of the buckets to begin with, and then throw them out later. And that's it, guys. I'm very excited about my hydroponic system.